Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And a listener from San Diego writes in and says, Hello, Ta! Spelled it like that. That's right. Because my wife and I got into an argument that sparked a very controversial issue. Not only among us, but among all the parents we know. Here it is. My son is 12. And his so-called girlfriend, that is a cheerleader, is also 12. To give you a background, Tom... My son fell into the trap of this so-called traveling cheerleader that dumped him right when he thought she liked him. Months later, after that issue receded, this cheerleader has come back and begun calling my son when my wife and I are at work. You and I know how this story is played, but as a 12-year-old, he doesn't. The idea of a so-called supervised date has surfaced. And what's on the, the table for discussion? Who will pay? Tom, listening to your show, I firmly believe this so-called date should be divided equally by the parents. They are not only too young... But at the age of 12, I believe they should be supervised equally. My wife is a Montessori school teacher. And she feels that my son should pay for the date as it is only right, she says. I do not have the same view. What do you think, Tom? Love your show. Listener in San Diego. Well, I happen to believe that uh, you're on the right on this one. It's time we start raising boys and girls with the idea of true equality. You know, it's women who've been protesting for equality all these years. It's time we give them what they want. And the way to do that is to teach the new generations what equality is all about. I'm sure your wife has screamed and yelled about equality for women. Women being equal, women deserving to get equal pay, have equal opportunities. And nobody agrees more than I do. That's why I believe that women should also, as they're being raised from little girls, be taught that they are to pay half any time two people go out. It makes perfect sense. And that is equality. I see no reason why a 12-year-old boy should be made to pay for a date. And nor do I see any reason why you and your wife should be made to pay for this date. It's time to give your son a little 101 and show him what he's made of. Show him how to have some balls, how to sack up. It's my opinion that your son should not pay 100%. At best... Well, at most, he should pay half. And honestly, if you can find some way to have the girl pay, little cheerleader, even better. But why in the world would you want to indoctrinate your son to believe that it is his job to pay for a date? I don't think that's right. Do you? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I'm really excited to talk to you. You turn me on so much. Is that so? Yes. The Tom Likas Show. Yes! The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Miriam, hello. Yeah, I'm here. I know you're there. Yes, I'm here. Oh, you wanted to talk to Tom? Hi. I was just calling about the question that you had about um, 12-year-old kids going out on dates and the boys paying or not paying. Can I ask you a question? Before we get started, just a stupid question. If, if you knew you were talking to me, why were you asking me that question? From earlier today? 
No, 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 no. You know the question. You're asking me if I'm here. Oh, because it's, my phone cuts out when I'm on a cell phone sometimes. But you couldn't hear a voice talking to you? Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, boy. You need yeah, a new provider. Oh, I do, definitely. <laughs> yeah, maybe a new husband, too. <laughs> well, don't have one now, so possibly. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. All right, just checking. Anyway, all right, Miriam, go ahead. Yeah, I actually have a 19-year-old son, and I also have a 13-year-old, and my boys have been taught, and their father alike has taught them from day one. You don't start dating until you're 16, until you can afford to pay for a date. Then why are you teaching them that? Because it's just not proper for them to be taking someone out and making the girl pay, too. If you're going to ask a girl out on a date... Yeah, but the, the system is fixed. How many girls ask a guy out on a date? Well, I do. How and many? There, there's actually a pretty good number, but it's the other... By the way, I need to be honest with you, darling, okay? At 39 years old, you've kind of passed your sell-by date, so you're going to be doing a lot more asking. But uh, how many how many 16-year-old girls are asking 16-year-old boys out on dates? You know, honestly, when I was 16, I did ask a few boys out. And you paid? I paid. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of that going around, dear. Actually, the husband I was It's married, time for after. complete equality. Well, I agree with you on the point. If he's going to ask, then he should pay. If she asks, then she should pay. Unless I, 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 no, I don't. I don't agree. I, uh, for example, if I ask a friend of mine, "How would you like to get out to the Palm this week and eat dinner?" If he says yes, we go. And when the bill comes, you split. It's usually about one hundred and seventy-five bucks. We each give our credit card, and they split it down the middle. <sighs> now, even though I asked him to come, that doesn't mean that uh, I'm paying. You know, I think it's an assumed thing, and personally... Well, it shouldn't be assumed anymore. Well, it might not... Might have, maybe as we it's go... time to stop assuming that, because women have demanded equality. And I believe in giving it to them. Okay. So how many times do you ask girls out and you pay for it? Um, as infrequently as possible. I try to avoid dinner at all costs, for example. Oh, dinner's safe. You go to dinner, you drop them off at home, you're done. No, no. That's my point. I don't want to be buying them dinner and then dropping them off at home. I'd rather be meeting them after dinner and let some other slug buy them dinner, and then I meet up with them for a drink after they're done with dinner. Oh, that's just cheating. Then it's not my problem to buy them dinner. Oh, you and I would not get along. Damn straight. <laughs> well, you're a little uh, out of my age range anyway. Oh, yeah, well, you wouldn't know. I was 39 if you met me. Yeah, I bet I would. And besides, even if I... Uh, even if you think I didn't, my age range is even younger than you look. Well, how t how tall are you, dear? Age, I'm about five three. You know, how much do you weigh? Uh, One hundred and twenty five. A little junkage in the trunkage there. No, a lot of top heavy. Yeah, a couple of stretch marks. Nope. Come on, C-section okay. scars, blue veins. Nope. No Come stretch on. marks, no feet. So nobody can start. tell you've had a kid. You don't look like a mom at all. Um, nope. I have you a lot look of people like a, that quite a bit. You look like a swinging single from, like, J-Date or Match.com or something. Oh, I'm on there. You can look me up. Oh, I'll bet you are, too, dear. <laughs> You're right at that age range. Yep. I haven't been a single for a few many years. <laughs> But I will say that my ex-husband does still buy, and he does still assume that if girls ask him out, that they would pay. If girls ask him out, well, again, I think, it, just like a friend. If a friend invited okay. you out, if, if a girlfriend said, hey, let's go to Fuddruckers and have a hamburger, uh, you would not expect her to pay. I wouldn't expect her, but personally, I always offer to pay. Yeah, yeah, you offer to pay, but the point is you wouldn't expect her to pay. Not for me, no. I would never expect anybody to pay but for that's, me. But that's my point. Yes, you do expect people to pay for you. People no. with penises. No. Yes, you do. I always offer. If it's getting... Oh, please. You offer... You, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's offering to pay and there's offering to pay, okay? There's people who say, oh, let me. And they have no intention of picking up that check. They may not even have a credit card on them. Oh, let me. And then they, then they, then they give up after one try. That, that's you. Oh, can I help? Let me help. Yeah. You help? You have no intention of paying. That's not true. Only if it's a girlfriend. You have no intention of paying if you're on a date. None. Oh, I could give you phone numbers, and they would tell you that I do quite often. The more women pay... Well, look, I, I hate to say this, Miriam, because I've never seen you, but uh, generally speaking, the more a woman pays, the more likely it is she's fat, fugly, or over the hill. 
Oh, you're so wrong. Oh, really? So there's hot chicks out there uh, going out to dinner with guys and splitting the tab? I have guys, 20, 21-year-olds, picking up on me all the time. Oh, darling, don't don't kid yourself. Uh, what that well, means, I'm not because, uh, you know, like an In-N-Out burger at the freeway ramp, okay, you're easy on, easy off. That's why those guys are after you. It's not because they think you look young or hot or anything. They know that women your age are much more likely to put out. Well, they're wrong about that. Well, when one of them marries you, you get back to me. But they won't. They just want to get in the sheets with you. No, but I wouldn't want to be married to one that age. Well, that's my point. They they want you for one thing, easy access. It is not because they think you're hotter than girls their age, believe me. That's your point. I can tell you did. She didn't like it either. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Uh, i got a question. I don't think the real debate on who should pay. Let's face it. These kids can order off the kitty menu. The question is, why the hell are we letting our 12-year-olds date and parading them around? This cheerleader is going to be knocked up at 17 at this rate. Right. By somebody other than the kid who's going to pay for this date. I'm sorry? By somebody other than the kid who's going to pay for this date. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. All right, I, I have tw- two tries is all I can do here. Buy a new phone. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Yvette in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. Yvette, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Wow, Tom, you're really, really on a roll today, aren't you? I guess so. <laughs> hey, darling, how are you? All right. By the way, dear. Speaking of uh, uh, speaking of that, um, New York City. Ever been to New York? Nope, never been. All right. There's a brand of hot dogs. They sell them on carts in New York called Sabret Hot Dogs. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll give you the big prize today if you can tell me the slogan for Sabret Hot Dogs. It's right on the umbrella. Oh, goodness. The other white meat? No. <laughs> no. I, you had a big hint. <laughs> because I didn't the, hear. I'm the, sorry. Well, you gave it to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> the slogan is, you know, it says, Sabret, it says, we're on a roll. Ah, oh, that's funny. Get it? <laughs> okay, now I get it. Yes, except for the carts in Greenwich Village where it says we're between two buns. <laughs> That's not a bad place to be either, I hear. So. <laughs> anyway, Tom, I just had to call and talk to you about this today. I have a 13-year-old boy who is adorable in every way, but he hates Tom like it. I make him listen to it, and he thinks it's torture. And every time somebody says something about girls being bad, oh, he vehemently disagrees, and he has all of these romantic ideals, and I have no idea where he got it from because I've been trying to raise him, according to Like Us 101. Right. But he, uh, uh, you know, I'm the kind of mom that I will freely admit it. If, uh, if the phone rings and I happen to answer it at the same time as he does and uh, he doesn't hear me listening, well, I'm going to listen. And, uh, Tom, you'd have been so proud of him. This girl called him, and this is a girl and her mother who invited him out to a movie. They called me, and the mother said, well, I'm going to take the kids to this movie, and um, I need you to pay for us to go. And I said, um, why is that? And she said, well, because it's a date, and it's my daughter's first. And I was like, um, no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, so that was strike one. So this same girl, she called my son on Friday night. And she's talking to, oh, Joshua, why are you so mean to me? I don't understand why you would say those things to me. And he goes, so? (laughs) (laughs) I love you. Don't you care about me at all? He says, I'll tell you what, if I had a dollar, I care for you about as much as a penny's worth out of that dollar. (laughs) (laughs) And he hung up on her. And I was like, that's my boy. Love that. (laughs) Love that, too. Very nice. It's all because of you, man. Thanks a bunch. I am so proud. (laughs) Take me out with a bong hit, will you? Here you go, Yvette. Thank you. Kathy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kathy. Um, never called into a radio show before. It's always uh, the first time, dear. Yeah. Um, wow, I was just kind of laughing about that last lady that I called in. I was just thinking, you know, if you're going to invite somebody out on a date, you know, and you're going to pay for them, like, I'm a server. It's like, I hate when women pay. Honestly, they don't tip. <laughs> mm-hmm. They don't. They they don't. They're like stingy bitches. I hate it. Um, like guys, at least you have a chance of getting a tip. Like, but I don't know. Honestly, as a server, 
in the industry, you know, like, I see so many women that pay. Yeah. And it's like, when I see them reach for their credit card, I'm like, oh. <laughs> every time. Oh, boy. That's my opinion, just because they don't tip at all. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, uh, you uh, laid it out there. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Omar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's happening, Tom? Not much, Omar. So I think you're missing a big point here, Tom. What's that? It's that this little hussy dumped him, and the dad is still condoning his son, quote-unquote, dating her. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's a huge issue. That's a very good point. You tell 20-year-old kids all the time they shouldn't have girlfriends. They should tell her to screw off. That's right. Tell her to screw off. Yeah, and dating, I mean, come on. Or take me to dinner. Take me out. Make her pay for dinner and a movie and then dump her after that. Sneak her into the movies and try to stick his hand up her shirt. (laughs) If there's anything to grab. (laughs) Exactly. Oh, yeah, boy. Good point, Omar. Thank you for that. It's Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm okay, Liz. Good. Well, first of all, 12-year-olds should not be dating because, number one, they are just not mature enough to even handle it. Right. You know, and number two... Well, I, here's the thing. 12-year-olds now are different than they were when you were 12 or I was 12. They're mm-hmm. different. You know, they watch watching too many Hillary Duff videos and things, and... um <laughs> They, they, they're kind of being groomed to be dating at 12. Hell, right. I mean, we read the story recently about uh, 11-year-olds and oral sex, for God's sake. Yeah. So uh, never too early to uh, teach the boys that uh, the girls at least pay half, if not the entire thing. Exactly. I mean, when you're, especially when you're that young, I mean, when you get old enough where you do have the money, you know, it, if you, like, I know the guy that I'm dating right now, okay, for example, if I offer to pay, he will not let me pay. Yeah. And I truly offer. I'm like, here's, I've got the money. He shoves it back in my hand, won't take it. So right. I guess it depends on the guy because he will absolutely refuse to let me pay for anything. Um, but when you're that young, first of all, you don't have the resources. You don't have the maturity. Uh, you know, it's just it's just not a good idea. You grow up too fast. You need to, I think the kids, they still need to have their childhood. You know, and they're not going to do that if they're starting to date. Well, I, I think it's never too early to teach a boy right. that uh, he should not be bullied into be paying for a girl to go anywhere. The prom, a movie, right. dinner, lunch, anywhere. Um, you know, you hear these stories where the guy's buying the girl's dress, the guy's buying, paying for the limo, he's paying oh, for all the food. And, you know, that's that's just not right. That's too much, you know. Um, it goes back to the archaic idea of a man is supposed to always protect a woman. And they're always supposed to take care of all their needs. And that's not true anymore. That's, I mean, it's absolutely that's not right. true. That's right. Now you just pump them and dump them. Huh? Now I just pump them and dump them. Who needs to protect them? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, we do the same to guys. Hit it and quit it. <laughs> so, you know. But um, it just, it, you know, I think that the equality issue is a big thing. You know, I agree. If we want it, we should have it in every single way. No It's not a doubt. give or take on separate issues. It's all or nothing. That's right. Well, you know, most women consider equality to be equality at the office, equality of opportunity, etc. But they don't believe in equality when it comes to the draft or going out on a date or opening exactly. car doors. They don't believe in equality there. So they want all of the benefits of, of growing up at this time of, 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 of the Earth's history. But they want none of the responsibilities. Right. That's, that's, that's exactly the bottom it. line. And that, the way we're going to change that in the future is how you raise kids today. Mm-hmm. Those kids should be taught, no, you don't take the girl out. She no. pays half. You pay half. Like any friend you would go out with. Exactly. You know, that's especially... At the tw- your age of 12 years old, that's all it should be, is friends going out. Get Especially since at 12, there's likely you. not going to be any sex. So what exactly is the boy paying for? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, he's not getting anything out of it except for the fact that he gets to sit by this girl who has nothing to ogle. Right. And she's the one who wants to go tell people she went on a date. She's the one who wants that. Right. I mean, let's face it, boys don't like dating. Uh, boys dream of getting laid one day. Exactly. They, they are not. They, they, believe me, I don't care what age a male is. He has no interest in restaurants or, quote unquote, going out on a date. 
Right. Guys' interests are getting laid. That's it. Yep. All right, Liz. I know that one very well. <laughs> ah, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Tyler in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. Tyler, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, man? Not much, Tyler. You know, women could not handle equality because if they really had to pay every other time, they would be broke and really not feel like going out. No, uh, they, can't, they, can't, they can't handle it. It's too, it's, it would be too much for them. They talk about it and they will offer, but you're, you're absolutely right. They will not. No, well, women right. are the cheapest creatures the on check. earth. Give them the check. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth because they want to spend their money on cute things they saw in store windows right, or having 300 right, pairs of shoes. On. I mean, and how many of those pairs right. of shoes did you or I pay for over the years by paying for everything? Too many. Right, and freeing too up many. their money to well, uh, spend it on something like that. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Been there. Done that. There we go. All right, very good, Tyler. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uncle Tom. Yes. What's going on? I'm a new listener. You guys just started out here in Phoenix. I just started listening a few weeks ago. Excellent. Um, I've had a girlfriend for a few years now. Whenever we go out, you know, it originally started, I paid, you know, every time, but... Now she'll grab a check off the table and throw her card in there before I can... Perfect. Even at it. Keep that going. Oh, I know, but but it still goes back to, you know, no sex is free, regardless of whether she's a hooker or a girlfriend. I mean, you're still going back to, you got to pay for... Everything. Well, if you're paying for everything, you, what do you need a girlfriend for? Exactly. I don't know. Well, time to DTB. No kidding. Get it going. <laughs> well, I, uh, thanks for the to talk to you, man. Thank you so much, Kyle, for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You don't have to have a girl wrapped around your finger. Not my finger. I want you wrapped around. The Tom Likas Show. Show. Los Angeles. And look at this. It's the guy who wrote the email. In case you're just tuning in, we'll kind of uh, review it with uh, Norm in San Diego. Norm! Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right. What's going on? Hey, not much. Hey, listen, I wanted to write that email because, uh, you know, as a father, I'm pretty strict with my son, but uh, when this happened the first time, I was just like, well, you know, she's a cheerleader. She's hot shot. You know, she's just playing a trick, but he kind of got his heart set, but my wife said, you know, Maybe we take him out and supervise him, and, you know, they just have a good time. I'm like, well, he's not going to pay. It's only his or her way. He said, no, that's the way it is. And I said, no, we're taking this Leica style. Mm -hmm. you know, he's, uh, you know, he's going to pay his way, and the parents are going to pay their way. It's not a date. It's just hanging out, and I want to see, uh, you know, I want to see the family, because obviously they're ritzy and they got a lot of money. And by the way, whose idea was it? Uh, it's kind of my wife's idea, kind of Brian's idea, my son, and, uh, he was kind of up for it, and I said, well, you know, what's going to happen is uh, she's just playing a game on you, and I don't want to see your heart get broken. Wow. So, you know, they got lots of money, and it's like, you know, we don't, and, you know, I don't want this to be a ha-ha, I took you out and dumped you in front of the whole school. I mean, that's something that's going to entertain him all, you know, his whole life. Absolutely. So that's why I really didn't want to do it, and uh, that's why I told her, I said, no, we're going to talk about this, but he's kind of set on it, and I'm like, well, you got to understand, women play tricks, they play mean things, and you got to be... Uh, you got to watch for it. And I know you can't at 12, but uh, I'm here to help you. And if you listen to me, then I can help you. Yeah, there's no reason for him to be paying the whole bill. That just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> not at 12? No. Good God, it's not a date. It's a hangout. I mean, my dad took me out with my first girl when I was 12, and we hung out. But she did the same thing. She dumped my butt three years later, and it was a, it was a disaster. So right. I, so. Time for him to earn some respect. And the way you do it is by having the self-confidence to say, I'm not paying for that. No. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. By the way, women respect self-confidence, boys. Yeah. Well, what, what's she going to get out of the deal? So what, I, I, no. I don't understand. Why, did, why is she going out with him when she's got the other guys in the school that are much popular and they got more money? You know, I don't, I don't see what she sees in him when uh, she only calls when we're not home. So, you know, I put restrictions on the phone. He's not allowed to answer the phone when I'm not home. But when I'm gone and, you know, I'm on the road for four or five hours, you know, I, I can't be there to watch him. So that was the only thing. Wow. Well, Norm, thanks for the letter, and thanks for bringing up the issue, because we get a lot of response to this. I really appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
is our telephone number. This is Adrian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Doc. Hello, son. A long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. Hey, Tom, I just want you to know that you got a big Latino following out here in the San Fernando Valley. Love you that. Know that. Love that. <laughs> we love you, Tom, because uh, we live by your rule, and you just reinforce, you know, the way we like to live our lives. Excellent. And, and, and I'll tell you what, um, uh, my girlfriend, she's a lot younger than me. She's only 21, but I got her trained on this a long time ago that she pays every other time, and especially if she asks to go somewhere, like if she says, hey, take me here, take me there, then she's definitely got to pay on, the, on those type of occasions. Right. Like if she demands you go to some chick flick, which I wouldn't recommend anyway. Oh, definitely not. I'll tell you what, if I see, if I ever, and I have no plan on doing it, but if I ever see Brokeback Mountain, it's going to be because <laughs> some other chick bought the ticket, the popcorn, dinner, wine, and everything that went with it. And that yeah. goes for any chick flick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got to definitely uh, twist your arm with that. And also, Tom, what is the deal with whenever you go to dinner that automatically the, the waiter automatically hands the guy the check? Automatically. Yeah. Well, I, I totally agree with you. Although there are restaurants now where they simply place it on the table. Yeah. Near the guy, though. <laughs> I'm very good at letting it sit there. <laughs> yeah, I kind of let her sweat. <laughs> you ever want to see a chick sweat? Yeah, yeah. Let her put the check down and just sit there and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder who's going to make the first move towards the wall. I would. You know what? I wouldn't even look. I wouldn't even acknowledge it. I just just see what what. Watch her eyes darting back and forth. First at the check, then at you, then at the check. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know exactly what you mean, Tom. Hey, thanks a lot for taking my call. I've been listening to you for a long, long time, and uh, you please take me out with a bong hit. Here you go. <laughs> thanks, Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Debbie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how you doing, Tom? Great. You know, I've not really ever listened to your show too much. My husband has. Ah. Uh -huh. Sitting out here working today, and I'm listening to you. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to tell you, I'm going to be 50 years old. I'm a grandma, and I'm beyond all that dating. You're how long? You're how old? 56. Oh, I'll be 50 this year. Oh, 50. Okay, I thought you said 56. Yeah, married, got grandkids, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. I got a 12-year-old grandson, and I agree with everything everybody's saying about a 12-year-old. But you know what? I don't agree with you regarding women and men dating. There's nothing wrong with chivalry. There's nothing wrong with equality. No, no. Chivalry is sexist. And uh, it uh, died along with uh, women getting the right to vote and women making uh, approximately equal pay for equal work. Uh, women's liberation. That's the end of chivalry. Do you really think there's... Not enough room in this world to have a little romance. No, no, not at all, because uh, what we're talking about is women demanded for 35 years, they've demanded equality. And I believe in giving it to them. Well, I had no problem with equality either. Well, then equality means saying. you'll open my car door and I you'll take no me to dinner. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but, see, no women, but women like you don't do it. That's where you're wrong. I just bought a gentleman so, dinner last night. So you get a... He's sitting right over there in the car next to me. Oh, what? And he, I bought him dinner last night. Who was it? Your husband? No, he was a co-worker that we were working with, and we were so at dinner. And so I you were not on a date. You were not on a date, correct? There. Well, it was not a date. It was a friend. That's my point. It was not a date. That's why, that is why you paid, because it was not a date. If you were on a date, yeah, you would have expected the man to pay. Not necessarily. Uh, mostly. If the man out on a date, I would... But how often do you actually do that? Well, I've been married for very many years, as I explained to you. All right. Well, my point is, women generally don't do the asking. Well, I'm a pretty bold person. I said they generally don't. Well, I don't care what not, you are. Generally, women is, don't. Women can ask men out. It's, it's the whole equality. They thing. generally and they, don't. And if they do, they, they generally do. don't. But if a man asks a woman out, I think there should be some romance in the world. No, there's nothing there's romance. Dear, this has nothing to do with romance. This has to do with being cheap. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. 
<laughs> not all of us. This has not. nothing to do Those with romance. Very, very generous people. If you were really romantic, you wouldn't expect me to pay anything. You would just sit and hold my hand for a few hours and not expect me to spend any money on you at all. Now, that would be romantic, but you'd never accept that. Actually, I would accept that because no. I would appreciate Most that women wouldn't. Most women would say the man was cheap. I uh, have a little thing to tell you. My son, the gal that he married... His very first date he took her on was up in the hills, up in Hosanna Heights, set up a card table, had his friends serve them spaghetti dinner with candlelight. That's the way my life works, and as well as with my son. Uh, dear, we're not talking about it, one individual plucked out of the phone book here. But if we're, talking, we're talking about the United States of America. We're talking about 350 million people. But so, they're all listening to your attitude. They're never going to get the clue. Uh, by the way, if all men have my attitude, there won't be other men trying to compete by spending money. Well, then all of them, all they would want is a piece of, you know, booty. That is what we want. Well, well at least you Including, admit. by the way, your son. Yes. He wanted booty, too. Actually, he didn't kiss her until their fifth date. That he doesn't mean he didn't her. want it. Well, I wouldn't say didn't want it. Yeah, he did want it, and that, by the way, that is the one and only reason any man, including your son, asks a woman out on a date, because he wants to see her naked. And if he doesn't get it until the fifth date, that only means he doesn't have any game and doesn't know how to close the deal. No, I would think he was raised proper how to respect people. No, no, that has nothing to do with respect. Here. Wanting and respect. That has nothing to do with respect. Nothing. There is such a thing as Any more respect. than eating, drinking, or taking a leak has anything to do with respect. Not it is a, it is a physical need way. that men have. And that is, how, that is how we decide who we're going to ask romance. out on a date. There's romance. No, there isn't. Quality, no, there isn't. Respect. No, there isn't. If you can't have those Wrong. Needs, then it's really going to get more messed up. No, it's not messed up at all. Yes, it is. I have needs. I need I them to be met. All these girls right around pregnant. I have abortion. needs. I need them to be met, and women meet these needs. <laughs> and if I have to pay the price of admission by listening to her yap for a couple of hours or buying a couple of drinks and uh, making her yap a little more and slur a little bit, that's fine, but that's as far as I'm going to go, and then I want what I need. Well, you know, women can take the same attitude, and they can go buy sex toys and not have to even bother with you. Dear, man. look around. Many of them have, darling. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. The only way to date nice guys all along are women who are not that attractive or are kind of chunky. Yeah, but I date a nice guy. You're probably kind of chunky. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like a show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Shirley on the Tom Like a show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Shirley. How are you? Do you care? Not really. Um I have a problem with every time someone calls in hmm. and tries to make a valid point or hmm. argue with you, hmm. you always talk over them. You never let them finish a statement. I see. Are you a programming executive? No, I'm not. Are it's, you a consultant? There you go. <laughs> Why don't you finish uh, a dog on do you, do you? Are you an expert in this field? You let these idiots... Are you an expert in this field? You will Are you an idiots. expert in this field? You're just... Proving let's let's not wrong. forget, dear, that uh, the way I do a show has worked very well for a very long time, that I make a seven-figure income. Meanwhile, you, the expert, you're merely, you are merely a caller, a mere speck of dust in a sea of callers. Are you afraid that someone might have a valid point? No, I'm certainly not afraid that you would. Yet you'll let these idiot men call on who say... Oh, uh, my girlfriend slept with three guys, but I took her back each time, and now she's pregnant, and now go marry her. I mean, you know what? I, I, you know, I don't really need your advice on how to do a show. You know, isn't it amazing how well I've done for how many years without hearing from you? I'm applauding you as we speak. There, there you go. So, really, uh, I don't need to change the style of the show because the show has worked for so long. People love to hear me argue with people. That's what they like. They hear you argue 
but they don't get to hear the other I don't really, dear, there's no fairness in this, okay? There's no Bill of Rights here or a Constitution. It's my show. I do it my way, and it has worked for a very long time. It's just frustrating to hear a men call on oh, I'm sorry. Conversation. That's too bad. You can't even speak English. I'm sorry. You know what? You're not even in the target demographic for this show. Oh, please. And then this, this show is for young men. It's not for you. Young men who are idiots. I love hearing all these stories out there. Well, how many men... I don't care what reason it is you tune in, just as long as I keep getting credit for your listenership. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Just remember, dear... I'm the host getting paid big bucks. You are a mere caller. It's the Tom Likas Show.